Uh, Ashley's recording. Welcome to the Weird Business Hangout English version. We just did the German version, so now I can talk as fast as I want. <laughs> you guys are in trouble. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like a racehorse that's been like, let's go, let's go. Okay, cool. Um, so welcome. This is going to be, this is a totally undefined space where we get to talk about everything weird in business. So your questions are welcome. Um, I've got my, I've got a big part of my team here with me. So I'm just going to invite you guys to unmute yourselves and like, just, we can just start talking about weird Hello. business. Hi, this is Michelle. We've got Katrin here. I've got Shana, um, Evie. I've got Simone. I've got Ashley. Holy crap. This is so cool. I am literally surrounded by brilliance, which is how I do anything online. <laughs> like, I don't create my business like anybody else and um, I don't I don't actually create it like anybody I know and it really really works and the reason it works is because I don't create it like anybody I know <laughs> because I created in the way that works for me so um, that's really what I want to talk about today is what what would it be like to create your business in the way that really works for you so what is that? Like, what is, what's that process like? Like, what questions do you begin asking yourself, you know, to really start getting in touch with how you create business? And that's a really good question. Crystal, that's a really good question. Would you? Apparently, I'm interviewing myself today. I'm having a really good time doing it. I hope you can understand me. I'll be here all week. Um, well, I mean, one of the things as I was getting into online business was I realized how little I knew. Like I literally knew nothing about having an online business. When I made the demand that I create an online business so that I could travel anywhere I wanted and all I required was an internet connection, like I knew nothing. I knew enough to know that it was possible and that was, that was all. And so I started somewhere. I don't even actually remember where I started. I think I started actually working with somebody else who had an online business because I was aware that I, there was certain practices that I really did require to learn. Like if you had a tool chest and you had tools in it, uh, I didn't have a chest. I just had the desire to have a chest, right? So I was like, well, I wanted to learn how people who did online businesses did telecalls and hangouts and I needed to learn all the back end stuff. And so I worked for somebody else. And this is actually one of the questions I functioned from that I never acknowledged I functioned from until recently, which is like, what would it take to shortcut the learning process? as soon as possible. <laughs> so I realized that I could go out there and learn all this stuff on my own. Like there is YouTube and, and I can point you in that direction if you want to go there. Um, it exists and you can learn how to use Zoom and you can learn how to use Canva and you can learn how to do Hangouts and tell it on YouTube. But for me, what I realized about me is one, it's more fun to learn with somebody else, with other people. Um, two, the other people I was learning with were fucking awesome people. So just being around them was going to make me more awesome. And three, I liked being paid for learning things. It was one of those weird things about me. I'm like, I knew I learned fast. I knew I could learn on the fly. And I knew that working with these people would teach me more than just the skills. So, so what, what do you know about yourself that you can really start using to your advantage? I think we go into this weird um, conflictual universe of like uh, either either or, either or universe where it's like I'm either creating for somebody else or I'm creating for myself. Um, but the thing about life is that it's not linear and you can, if you choose to, really trust yourself to know what's required when. And when I first began creating, I knew it was required for me to be around somebody else who was already doing the work that I desired to do. So I chose that. So everything that doesn't allow you to be, know, perceive, and receive, um, your, what you know about you with total ease, will you destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all name, shirts, boys, and beyonds. Um, so so the question, that, that's a functional question for me of like, what would it take to shortcut this process? And that's asking that question changes what I add all the time. Sometimes that means I add like a Michelle who's fucking brilliant at setting up backend. By the way, Michelle Links Lyle is brilliant at setting up backend systems for any of you who need them. Katrin is a brilliant administrator. Shana is a brilliant graphic designer. Simone is a fucking epic business expansionist connector, creator of magnitude. 
Ashley is a fucking epic uh, back end person, promoter person. Like all these people, on Evie is like just invitation walking and very fast. Like so, all of these people have these different skill sets that shortcut what I'm able to create in the world now. So I became aware that if I wanted my business to expand at the rate I know is possible, I had to add brilliance, people that were faster than me, people that were better than me. So I started asking, what would it take to have, and here's something that's really funny, is I had actually decided that I was the best person to do graphics ever, and like there was nobody better than me. And then I met Shana, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? How do you do, how does that stuff come out of your, how does that work? I want, I'll have it. <laughs> but literally, I realized that I was holding my business back by deciding that there was nobody that could do it better than me. When in fact, there's about 2,500,000 people that can do a lot of these pieces better than me. There's just nobody that can be me like I can be me. So I started asking, what would it be like to be able to be me and create as me and get all these brilliant people to help me institute that with a lot of ease? And so it creates this really cool um, energy, really cool atmosphere to work and play in. And it's very sporadic and very crazy sometimes and not predictable, which all of us seem to really like. <laughs> and so what have you decided business is that it doesn't have to be that if you would just be willing to create it your way would contribute to your life really differently. And everything that doesn't allow that way you destroy and create. Ooh. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, 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 shorts, boys and beyonds. So I'm really open to your questions. I'm really open to where you're at and what we could look at today. And, and also team, like my team, like if you guys have anything you want to ask me or say or contribute, I'm just, I'm just really open. I'm just feeling kind of slutty and receiving today. So what would you like to talk about? <laughs> I haven't even started drinking yet. It's only, this is so cool. Okay, yes. So the thing I love, love in, in your team, and this is team is, so many creations and there's no judgment of 100,000 things going on at the same time and everything works just I love that it's a little bit confusing sometimes <laughs> at the same time I love it yes yeah, it's confusing for me too we'll get in I'll get these ideas and I'm like oh let's do this and then I'll be like oh let's do this to promote this and then we're going to do this to promote this and then everybody's like wait what date is when and, and how are we meeting and I'm like I don't know as somebody asked Katrin she's got that all sort you know so yeah thank you and and that was something I really changed when I began creating is I I noticed that a lot of people that were creating were doing it sort of linearly it's like well, well we'll we'll create one thing and then we'll create the launch to that one thing and then we'll promote that one thing and i was like yeah but i have like 10 ideas at the same time so what would it be like to start and so that's what i played with really recently was i had a beyond judgment call and i wanted to launch weird business at the same time well i had the weird business idea first so technically it had first dibs, but in the middle of having that idea, I had this other idea for this other call. So I was like, well, what would it be like to maestro two teams of promoters? Well, it was an adventure. It was a little bit crazy and it was, it ended and it created. And it created more people coming to play and it created more awareness. And now I'm like, okay, well, what would it be like to have three teams? I mean, like what? And so where are you not allowing yourself the adventure of adding um, by deciding that you can't or deciding that you have to do this, this, and this before you can? Or what have you decided that keeps you from the adventure of playing in the creation of your business? So everything that doesn't allow that, will you destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, online, insurance, boys and beans. Yeah. So I literally allow myself to create as crazy as I actually am. And it turns out some people like that. <laughs> and some people don't. And, and I just let people know when they want to play on my team and I've got space for it and, you know, that's always expanding and what else is possible. I let them know, hey, this is kind of the way it is over here. Well, that's got to work for you because if that doesn't work for you, this is going to drive you crazy. <laughs> But if you like crazy, if you thrive on crazy, this is going to work. So have you decided that you have to be a certain way to be in business? Have you decided that you have to be somebody else besides you in business 
And what if you would allow yourself to be as ridiculous and as crazy and as insane and as illogical and as inconsistent as you truly be? Because listen, I don't know you guys, but I know you guys. So everything that doesn't allow you to do that, choose that, be that, will you destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, whack, online, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Cool. So, okay. So Chris, Crystal, uh, yes. can you talk a little bit about how, like, what, it, what does it look like to add people to your business? What does that mean when you've well, never done that before? It just doesn't look like any just one thing. I mean, when I first, <laughs> let me tell you the answer that's not an answer. Um, so when I was first looking at adding somebody to my business, my awareness was that I was not really enjoying half of what I had to do to support what I was doing. Because when you, any business that you have, there's all kinds of steps. You know, there's the fun part, which is most of us really enjoy, which is the creation part. And then there's all the other stuff that supports the creation, which is kind of like the 80% of the not so fun part. However, there are people on the planet that enjoy that stuff you've decided you don't like. And so when I was first looking at this, I was realizing, okay, I had all this administrative stuff I had to do and this MailChimp list I was supposed to create and this, all blah, 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 right? And so I was just slogging through it instead of going, who can I add that loves this? And so as soon as I started to ask that question, people started popping up and sending me Facebook messages. I'm like, I don't know if you're looking for anybody, but I really would like to, con and I'm like, really? You like, you like that stuff? And so it was, so it began a conversation. And, and in my initial conversations, I was stopping myself from adding somebody because I had decided that I had to be able to pay them to add them. And when I had that, when I pocket and potted myself, interesting point of view, I had that point of view, what would it take to add somebody anyway and see what was possible? What showed up was somebody who was willing to contribute for a percentage and to create with me and to help me from the ground floor up. And that has been true actually every, every time I've made a jump up, there's been this building phase where it's like there's a lot of hours required and effort required for not a lot of money in the beginning, which then gets us to where we can actually go, right? And there are people that desire to contribute to you. And man, I had, this has come so into my face in the last few days and challenged my receiving like crazy because I have had all these brilliant people willing to contribute to me and, and, and actually come to me and, and had these amazing life-changing conversations. And I'm realizing that it's my receiving that wasn't allowing the, what people would really desire to give me to, to stop. So the question you can begin to play with is, is, if I didn't have a point of view about money, who would I add? What am I not enjoying? that somebody else would really enjoy to contribute to me and who would like to contribute that to me and what is possible to create with zero down <laughs> you know you look at these cars you can get into now at least in north america you can get into cars and houses with zero down you don't have to have anything to to have something begin to contribute to you you just have to have the willingness to get into a lot of debt hmm. okay so what what could you be willing to ask for that goes beyond what you've decided you have to have to begin and everything that is right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pod, on the poison, yeah. So there is no how. It's looking at your business going, okay, would adding somebody create greater? Who or what can I add? Who would love to do the things that I don't really love to do that would free me up to do what I love to do? Cool. Does that speak to it? Is there more? That's, that's amazing. I just keep thinking like, I'm such a control freak. <laughs> yes. And I had, to, I had to face that. I mean, the graphics thing for me is actually the last piece that I was not, okay, there's one more piece I'm not willing to let go of. <laughs> but graphics was a big thing for me because I'm really, really particular about energies matching the words. Like I'm, I'm really, I feel really, because one of the things that's created a lot for me is, is me being able to nail the energy, right? So it's been really important for me to have that. And, um, and it really was one of those areas where I'm like, I am not willing to let go of control of this. So I just allowed myself to have control of it until it just got to that point where I was bored with having control. And then Shana showed up, which is so great. Um, and, and, so, and so I'm still doing that, I noticed, with my writing because I love to write. I'm really good at writing. People really like my writing. I'm like, yes, and there's like a lot of copy required now. There's copy required for the web website. There's copy required for the Facebook events. There's blogs to be written. It's like, 
it, for me to be a hundred million dollar business, which is the energy that I create as, as much as I can remember to create as that, when I'm not functioning from insanity, which does happen. What I ask myself is if I were a hundred million dollar business, what would I be choosing? What would I be adding? Well, a hundred million dollar business, I'm not writing my own copy. You know, I might write key pieces of it. I might write some of the, but I'm doing different things. I'm creating ideas. I'm looking at where we can go. I'm, I'm the, you know, what is the role that you naturally function in and who or what can you add that would, that, that who actually create better than you? Like, what if it's possible that you're not the best at what you do? You know, so I look at Gary's business, like he, he literally, and I asked him this in the advanced body class and this just, just recently in Seattle, that advanced body class was about everything. It was about business. It was about bodies. It was about everything. And so Susan was our heart. And I looked at each other um, at one point and I was like, I want to do a business class with him. And she's like, well, let's just make this our business class. So we started asking all kinds of business questions in the advanced body class. And, um, Wow, I lost my point. So we were talking about adding. Oh, so what Gary does is he looks at what's required in his business. So he's creating a class and he requires, I'll, I'll put it on a smaller scale. So creating a class, he requires graphics, he requires writing, he requires a host team, he requires all these pieces, right? And he finds out who, who thinks that's fun, who loves to do that. And then he gives them that job and he gives them that job. And then he only intervenes when it's not working. So he finds out what's fun for them, gives them the job to see what, what they'll actually deliver. And then if they don't deliver, he changes something. That's it. I'm like, wow, I'm controlling every single facet of my business from the ground up. And it's just slowing everything down immensely. So everywhere you are slowing down what you, what is actually possible for you to create, will you destroy it and create all that? I'm not wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and I just had the awareness that there's a few of you on here that aren't as familiar with access consciousness. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing up an energy of where we might be stopping ourselves. I'm asking you to choose something different in that moment with the, will you destroy it and create this? That's a choice point. And if it's a yes, cool. We clear out the shit, right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And then we create space for you to actually choose something different. Because what, what, what stops us doing anything that we want to do, whether it's creating business or it's creating money or it's creating a relationship or creating a life that works for us, is all of our decisions that we've already made, all of our funky ass points of view that we've picked up on, we've bought like crazy. We've sold other people, I'm sure, in some lifetimes, greasy snake oil salesmen somewhere, um, you know, that we have created our whole world around. And a lot of these points of view we're not even aware, we're not conscious of, we're unconsciously creating from insanity. And how do I know that? Because you're here and because your life isn't the way you'd like it to be. If there isn't that, you've got, if you're anything like me, there's this ache of just dissatisfaction. I'm like, I know there's more. I know there's more. I know there's more possible. I know I can be more. I know, right? So, so what's creating what you don't want to have is these insane points of view that the world functions from, that we are so psychic and picked up on that we started creating from ourselves. So, what insanity do you have creating the, un, the, the life you don't desire? And everywhere you're functioning from that and everywhere you've bought into that and everywhere there's unawareness around that so that you can't change it, will you destroy it and create all that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. So what we want to do with anything we're creating, business, life, etc., is we want to shine the light of consciousness on where you're functioning and what you can choose that's different. And how do you do that? Do you gotta have to you have to go in and find all the shit before you can create? Does anybody know the answer to that question? <laughs> class, class, anyone, anyone? Bueller, Bueller. The answer is no, you don't have to go in and find the shit before you keep creating. In fact, if you do that, you are actually creating problems to feel like you're creating your life. And how do I know that? I only did that for 40, 38.7 years. I'm 40 this year. Um, you know, it's this whole like, but, th but that's what we're taught. We're taught to like go in, see that field over there where you'd like to have your life. I need you to go into that field and take out every single weed and every single rock and make sure the ground is perfect before we lay any new seed. Well, what, by the time you've gotten like third through third of the way through the field, the weeds are already growing on the other half. Like it doesn't actually work, right? You've got to start creating what it is you'd like to have. And as you're creating, 
as you're choosing more, like for example, with my business, as I'm realizing that I'd like to create in Vancouver more and I'm looking at what I would have to be that's different, I'm getting really uncomfortable. There's stuff coming up. I didn't have to go looking for that stuff. It came up naturally. I'm already, I'm willing to ask more of myself. And so as a result, stuff's coming up. Cool, what do you do with it? Pocket and pod that shit and choose anyway. Like, what are you not willing to have anymore? What do you, what can you demand of yourself that will begin to create what you'd like to have? Everything that doesn't allow that to show up, will you destroy it and create it? Right, run, goodbye, pod, pod, all nine shorts, boys and mirrors. Admins, did you have a question? No, 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 no. I just want to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Hi. All right, cool. I feel like I just went on a really fun rant. That was really fun for me. Does anybody have any questions or stuff? Or Yes, Crystal. Yes. It's Daniela. Hi. Hey. Can I ask you, um, I, I see you're very, being very present at Facebook and posting videos and everything. Are there more platforms like Facebook where you are very present that I don't know of? Because I, sometimes I'm like, there must be more than Facebook to there put is. myself out, right? Yep, there is. And no, I'm not choosing that right now and only just because I'm not choosing it. You know, I'm aware of the possibilities on social media and it's... Um, and I'm not using it fully to my advantage. So it's something I look at all the time. And it's just for me right now, Facebook is working. And so there are so many possibilities for creating. I mean, you know, there, there's, I know if I have a photographer friend in Vancouver who uses Instagram solely and has, yeah. you know, gotten, so what the thing to look at is like, what, when you look at the platform, so let's just say you look at Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook, just as an example, which one's light, which one's pop for you. And what, as you go along, what can you add, you know? Yeah, exactly. And maybe it's SoundCloud. Maybe if you're a, a, an audio performer, you know, maybe it's SoundCloud, maybe it's iTunes, maybe it's what would look at the things that are like, what would create your business with the most ease? Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Do we yeah. get a recording of this one? Yeah. Cool. And because I, like, I didn't sign up, so how would you know that anyone? Um, well, well, I'm just going to post the video. I'm going to post the video and the audio cool. in the event. And yeah. Thank and, you. And I learned, you know, here's the, oh, let me talk about choice creating awareness. Okay. Just for a second. Choice creates awareness. So I wanted these hangouts to be as easily accessible to people as they could be. I didn't have, we're, we're rebuilding the back end and getting a whole new email system in place. So I'm like, oh, I didn't want to make everybody sign up for email. And what I realized is I can't actually easily stay in touch with you after this because I can't email you the recordings and now you've got to go find them in the group. And so choice always creates awareness. Did that mean that I did this wrong? No, it just meant that I did it this way. And now I can choose something different in the future. I have more awareness, right? It's more ease to email you this because then you have it in your e email inbox, you know? And so you can't fuck this up. You can't fuck it up. All you can do is choose and then choose again and then choose again and then choose again. And then and yeah, but then again, what does that create? Because people will look, at, look you up and then right. see if you know, they otherwise wouldn't have look, watched or whatever, you know? Totally, totally, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Create new things. Totally. And, and I didn't even acknowledge that. So this is another thing. As you're creating, you want to ask, like, okay, what, what did this create that I'm not acknowledging energetically? You know, what did it create for my team? What did it create for the world? What did it create for you guys? Like everything that doesn't allow you to acknowledge what you're creating that you can't see, cognitize, or, and you can only perceive if you choose to perceive it, we need to destroy and create that. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pod, call, insurance, Cool. Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. Crystal? Yes. Hey, do you have a... Um like an awesome business entity clearing or something like that. I've been getting the awareness recently that there are some entities that are kind of pushing back in my life. Every time I start to grow out as a business or I'll like find something that feels really light and exciting. And then the closer I get to it, it starts to feel nasty and I'm not getting a strong read. I'm like, is it mine? Is it somebody else's? Is it something else's? But the strongest is on it being something else's the kind of like cloudiness around all of it is I'm beginning to wonder if there are some entities that are kind of like. Cool. So the easiest thing is truth is this entities. Yes or no. But if you get really confused. <laughs> so are the entities in your body? Yeah. 
it's, it all just, yeah, I go into like a. Okay. So let me say a little bit about entities for those of you who aren't access consciousness. This is a weird part of access consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> that works. And I'm going to, and hope let me, you'll let me allow me to just take a Absolutely. rabbit trail back to your question. Okay. Please do. Because I would like to talk about this and entities are real. They're just disembodied beings. And really mostly for the most of my life, I've really discounted that as, yeah, okay, fine. Even after I got into access and I started learning about entities and they exist, I'm like, okay, cool. Not relevant to me. I don't have a capacity with entities. I don't care about entities. Blah, 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 right. And then I took a talk to the entities class, which if you're from, a, if you haven't taken that class, I highly recommend it because for those of you that think you don't have a capacity with entities, you're very likely wrong. And the knowing your capacity with entities, what that does for you is that empowers you with an awareness that you can then change things with. So good example. And then we're going to go back to hope. So I'm on Victoria. I'm in Victoria on Vancouver Island. This, I don't know the history of this place, but I'm learning. And here's why. Um, I have had two experiences here that are, have been extremely entity related. And, and, and here's why they were dramatic. I went to a shopping center one day. We were driving. My friend and I are driving to the shopping center. It's getting more and more stressful in the car as we're driving to the shopping center. We're starting to feel edgy. We're starting to snap at each other before we go into the store. We don't snap at each other. We get into the store. It feels like there's 5,000 people in there, and there wasn't. But it's, what it was, it was a small store, and there was lots of people. There was people crawling everywhere in the parking lot. So I'm concluding going, well, there's just a lot of bodies in here. Like this is, this is not well designed. Who designed this place, you know? And so we're going through and we're shopping and we're getting more and more tense. It's like, get, it's stress. We're having a stressful grocery shopping experience. Like who has that? Except, and there's not small children involved. I mean, I can understand that. So we finally get to the checkout line. We shortcut the shopping experience to, you know, we're checking out. We're walking out of the grocery store. We look at each other and we were like, that was so intense. And so we're walking to the car. It's getting a little less intense, putting the groceries in. We get into the car and realize we still need booze. Fuck. I'm like, okay, well, there's a booze shop right over there. Fine. I'll get out and do it. She's like, no, I'll come with you. So we get out of the car again. We're like, Jesus, is this experience over yet? You know, usually it's pretty fun going shopping for booze. Today, it's not so fun. And we're walking along the fronts of these stores and we just look at each other. And I, I remember to ask a question. And I said, truth, is this entities? And it was like, boom, 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 you know, yes. And I was like, okay, cool. So I'll just clear them. So I did the entity clearing. I said, okay, so all of you that don't know you don't have bodies. Are you ready to go now? And huge yes. So it relieved a little bit of pressure. And I was like, the rest of you, who are you? Who were you before that? 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 What is your job? What was your job before that? What was your job before that? What was your job before that? You can take your magnetic imprinting and you can go now. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. That is the entity clearing. That is how quickly it works. Okay, so what that does for an entity, an entity is a disembodied being who has no concept of time. They've gotten trapped in nonlinear time. They're in a loop. Um, it, it just acknowledges them. Who are you? Oh, who were you before that? Who were you before that? Oh, you had a history. What is your job now? What was your job before that? What was your job before? It acknowledges them along their timeline and they go, oh, I can go. Cool. And they're out of here. Okay. Why is that relevant to business? Let me tell you the second part of that story. Well, first of all, the first part of that is it got lighter. Maxine's vision started to come back. She literally couldn't barely see. And we got back in the car. We had our booze. Thank God. Trust me, we got right into that when we got home. Um, got back in the car, looking at each other like, this has been the most bizarre experience we've ever had shopping for anything. Driving out, and as we're driving out and I'm turning right, I look across the street and I see this massive cemetery. <laughs> And we're driving out. I hadn't seen it driving in. We're driving, and it just goes on and on and on and on. It was literally five kilometers long. I don't even know how deep. And as soon as I, 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 I pointed to that, I'm like, oh my God. She looked over there and we were both like, holy shit. And it was so obvious in that moment that it, there was hordes of entities there in that shopping. They had like come to get, see us off into the, you know, 
And one of the things Gary said in the advanced body class is he was talking about a story where he tripped up the stairs and he had been unaware. And when that happens, it's usually an entity trying to get his attention because they know that you can hear them and perceive them and they, it's time for them to go. So what you're doing with that entity clearing is you're actually gifting them space to go, right? You're gifting them something because they can't go without that awareness. You're giving them the awareness of who they were so that they can just choose something else. So anyway, so long, this, I know this is a little bit of a long story, but I've never actually seen how relevant this clearing is to creating something different. And all of these tools in Access Consciousness are to empower you to create something different. So piece number two of my entity story here in Victoria is that the other morning, trying to do business online, my internet was getting progressively slower and slower and slower to where I was heading into one of these hangouts where I had no internet. It was literally not working. It was as if the whole line was dipped in molasses and it was just broken. And I'd restarted it and I did everything that I know. And somebody said, well, entities like to attack. Um, electrical lines or, or, or uh, and I was like, so I just asked truth is it entities. I got a yes. I did an entity clearing literally, literally within minutes. And I'm talking about like three or four hours in that morning of struggling with it. It was not only working faster than it did before, but my little thing on the top that says it's connected to the internet said it wasn't connected and it was working faster than before. This just doesn't make sense. That should not be true. That should not be possible. And it was as fast as doing the clearing. So what have you made so vital, valuable, and real about entities that keeps you from choosing the thing that would change this for you with total ease? And everything that is, will you destroy and create all that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pod, online, shorts, boys, and mans. So what I wanted to express with that was one, that entities are real. If you're willing to acknowledge you have a capacity with them, you can change things very quickly. Two, you can change things very quickly. They're not actually insignificant in any way. They just exist. Cool. So if you're aware of them, clear the shit. <laughs> so what have you made so vital, valuable, and real about entities and demons that keep you from just acknowledging them and choosing to change it with total ease? And everything that is, will you destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nine shorts, boys and girls. So it doesn't matter what it is you perceive as stopping you. The moment you make the stop significant, you cannot change it. So you perceive a stop. Cool. What would it take to change it? or don't change it and be just an allowance of it, right? It doesn't matter. You can just have allowance for yourself. I don't want to change that. I really like being stopped. In fact, I think I'll plant a tree here and dive into it. Yeah, that, that didn't make sense, but um, just have allowance for the fact that you'd like to be stopped and you're making the stop significant, right? Um, but until you make it significant, it doesn't have any quote unquote power over you. It's so anywhere and everywhere you're making what stops you significant Instead of just choosing to be an allowance of it, will you destroy and create all that? Right, we're going to do bad online insurance business. Cool. Does that help, Hope? Yeah, hugely. The, when you did the clearings the first time, it was like the whole space around me lightened up. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, and the, and the point of the whole entity thing is not to like, it, again, I, I feel like a broken record, but I feel like it needs to be said, is not to make it significant of like, oh my God, there's other beings, holy fuck, oh my God. It's, and I know some people that are like, and they always go there. It's like, oh my God, is this demons? You know, trying to figure out what it is. And is this, it's just, holy fuck, right? And I'm not, I'm not making fun of it. I'm just, it's, it's that that doesn't allow you to like go, oh, it's entities, cool, change it, right? But done. It's not significant. It's just what it is. And all of the tools in Access Consciousness are to create change in an area where you haven't been able to create change. So if that's why we have the questions of when you're aware of something, what is it? Because I didn't ask that question in the grocery store. I concluded what it was. I walked into that plaza and concluded that it was because of all these people. I didn't ask a question of like, what is it? Who asks that? Well, you're supposed to ask. I, I will facilitate you to ask that question, but I will not do it myself. So I did not ask that question. You know, I concluded this is what it is, right? It didn't give me the, any, any empowerment to change it then. Because I concluded what it was, I couldn't change it until I asked a question. Oh, is this entities? And then I changed it and it was different. So when you're willing to have an awareness, and it was intense awareness in this particular case, case, like our whole bodies could feel it, like we, our vision was going, like my head was pounding, like it was intense in my body, awareness, um, asking what it is, 
can I change it? Yes or no? Yes. How can I change it? And there's one more. What is it? Who's got these? What is it? Can I? There's four questions. Anyway, if anybody can think of the fourth one. I know. What is it? What do I do with it? Can Thank I change you. it? How do I change it? If so, how do I change it? Thank you. Yeah. And so the purpose of those is to give you the awareness of what it is so that you can have an awareness of what tool you could use to change it and how quickly you, you could choose that. Is that, you know, so it's like, it doesn't have to be significant. And that's what those tools are for is to empower you to have the change that you'd like to have. Thank you. Um, Cindy has her hand raised. Not sure. No, I didn't. Cindy. Hi. Can you talk? Hi. Hi, uh, Crystal. Uh, I'm not busy very long with my business, but I, I've made a Facebook site and a internet site and a Facebook group and a lot of people uh, are told what I'm doing. So cool. they're interested and cool. ask me questions. Yeah. But I don't get a lot of people who want to pay me for it. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's, here's something to ask yourself. It's like, truth, am I willing to receive money? So truth, are you willing to receive money? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> cool. Um, how do I know this one? Because when I was first starting, I was having the same complaint. I'm like, people seem to really like me, but when I ask them for money, it's like they scatter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're really enthusiastic about what I do, but, but when I tell them my session is this and this amount, and then it's, uh, then right. I've never, never heard from them again. Right. So I want to look at this with you and then tell you quick, like, so what it was for me was that when I, when it, I would go, when I was creating and it didn't cost anything, I was being the energy of that creation and people could play with me. As soon as I began to ask for money, it was like I would put a creation out there and go hide behind a tree energetically. I'm like, Eek! I don't want to know if they choose it or not, right? I wasn't yeah. actually being the energy of that. This is what it costs and this is what you can choose. And this, you know, that energy that would allow them to choose it. So what could you be that you've been refusing to be that would change that for you with total ease? Yeah. Everything that doesn't allow that, we just try and create it all. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, pop, pop, all in shirts, boys and beyonds. So what is, so this is something to look at for all of you of like, I, I see a lot of people do this actually, because you can see it energetically when people are willing to be the energy of it, there's a congruence there. It's like, oh yeah, I can totally choose that. When you like somebody and you like what they're putting out there, but then they put something out there for money and you're like, I don't know why, but I can't buy that. There's something in that that's not, doesn't match. Like there's energetically, it's not, it's not a match. So what can you be? What could you be that's different? What would you have to be willing to be to charge money with ease? Is it uncomfortable? Is it embarrassed? Is it wrong? Is it like, what are you not willing to be that if you were willing to be, it would change this with total ease? Everything that doesn't, uh, look, yeah, go and yeah. yes, if you have something, cool. Yes, so, uh, it feels like some, Un yeah, uncomfortable asking yeah. something I do with ease. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So um, I would play with it. Uh, you know, like what if you could start, like, can you claim, own, and acknowledge, claim and own and be $10 for a session? Can you claim yeah. own it and be $20 for a session? Choose that. See what that creates for you. Trust me. After a few sessions of $20, you're going to be pissed off and you're going to charge more. <laughs> 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 but again, this, and I, I, I'm not trying to give you the answers. Just look like, what could you play with that would allow you to, to start to see what it's like to receive money? When I first started charging for stuff, it, it was, I think my first creation that I got paid for was online was an interesting point of view challenge that I had like, I had all kinds of people playing. And then I was like, yeah, we're going to charge now. And everyone went, Except for like, I think except for like 20 people that paid me like $30 a month or, or, or for three months, it was like $30. And, but that first, I think I created like $900 out of that creation was such a gift to me, like beyond the money. It's, it gave me so much awareness of what I was capable of and so much awareness about people actually really liking me and wanting to give me money. And it was like, wow, what else can I be? And what else can I create that would allow people to give me money with ease? You know, 
So what could you start with that you can claim and be, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Crystal, can I ask a question? Please, yeah. Is it true that when there's entities with other people, either it's, if it's business or relation or whatever, that you cannot clear them unless they give permission? Or can you just clear them anyways? You can clear them. They will come back. Um, but you can clear them. Yeah. Whatever's going to make you. Yeah, whatever's going to make They will come back. Well, I mean, that's that person's choice, right? Okay, cool. So you can clear them, have some space there, and when they come back, you can clear them. I mean, Jesus, yeah, I can like, make a business out of that. <laughs> don't do that. It'll be too easy. I mean, really, like when you look at our capacities with entities, like, and what you could market that as and how much you could charge for that, people are watching television shows all over the place about this stuff because they're so intrigued by it, right? I know. Yeah, I know. Don't be the ghost whisperer. It will be too easy. <laughs> It was so interesting. I had it. Well, whatever. I'll talk to you later. About <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk. Have your people call my people. Anyone who wants to know, send me a private message. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Awesome. Cool. Anyone else have questions? I've got one. I've got another one. Um, cool. So I, with what you were just speaking to about asking for money, every time I ask, I get the lightest and most excited about doing sessions for $250. Cool. And like any, any, it's not like any less than that. That's what sounds fun. That's what sounds the most fun to me. And then um, something else comes in and it's like, can you really charge that much? Like all those little voices that are like, you don't have that much experience, yada, yada, yada. Even though I keep getting that, like, that's what I'd love to receive. And I'm, in other businesses that I'm work that I've worked in, I'm used to receiving that. And, mm -hmm. you know, so that receiving that amount of money for like an hour isn't, I'm, I'm rationalizing this right now, <laughs> but like what, so I, I noticed that I keep stopping myself cause I get into that, like who would really spend this money or like, what is that? Even though I know like that to me feels like the most I'll be able to create at or where I'll be able to create the most. If I'm asking for that per session. Okay. So what can you choose that would give you more awareness? So how many of you guys stop yourselves as soon as you discover you have points of view? <laughs> I'm choosing this. It feels so like, oh my God, there's points of view. Oh my God. Ah, what do we do now? There's points of view. Right? I'm blowing that way out of proportion because I get it. I, I, no, no, it's good. <laughs> but it's like, so what? So you've got points of view. Okay, cool. What do you do with points of view? What do we know to do with points of view? When we come, like, interesting point of view. Point of view that I have this point of view. Point of view, I have this point. Or do you stop dead? Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> points of view. Fuck it. Just, I would go back to wherever it is you came from. Right. I'm, I'm so grateful that you are like doing this this big right now because it literally like I've been making them so significant I've been like god am I like robbing people if I like charge that oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I put it on my website I got that far I was like okay I don't know that I can like I'll put it up there <laughs> but uh just a point of view, pocket plot it and move the fuck on. <laughs> what do you want to have as your life? What would you like to choose? Now, I know I'm being a little bit, I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm going to make a video. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so what, so, but, but it is that, like, what do you want to have? Do you want to be paid $250 an hour? Okay, what's required for you to be paid that? Like, how many points of view do you have to pack and pod? How many interesting points of view do you have to use? How many sessions? What's it? Do you want to get a session and get your own shit out of your way? Like, what are you willing to be or do to have what it is you'd like to have? Everything that doesn't allow you to choose that, we destroy and create that. Yes. Right, run good, bad, pot, pot, online, shorts, boys and beyonds. I'm sure you didn't have any points of view coming up when you started to be, to choose being an actress. It was just a clean road. It was totally easy. You know, like nothing came up for you when you went to get an age and yet you chose it. Yeah. It definitely still doesn't come up either. <laughs> Ever when you're going into an audition and you may or may not get chosen and, and yet you still do it. So where do you have your own back and where could you have it even more? 
And if it didn't matter what the fuck anybody else on the planet thought about your rates, about you, about what you were choosing, if that was just a, an, a creation that you make so relevant and you could just make it as irrelevant as you wanted to, what would you like to choose to create what you'd like to have? So everything that doesn't allow that, will you just try and create that? Yeah. Right, right. Good bad pot pot on the insurance. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you. As you were saying that, I was like, oh gosh, because with the acting thing, that's somebody else coming to me and saying, here's what I'll pay you to do your work. And then there's like, whatever that other interesting point of view or whatever that is, that's like me actually saying, this is what I'm worth. I'm putting that out there. That's yeah. And what if it's not about what you're worth? I mean, this is, no. it, you know, what if it's just about what you'd like to have? Because I'm, I'm priceless. I mean, when I, look at like, when I look at worth now, and I look at you guys, and I look at us, like, there is no amount of money that can pay us for being as brilliant as we are. Like, there, it doesn't exist. It's, it's like, what would you like to have? What, and, right, and it's for this 10 seconds, what would you like to have? What if it has nothing to do with what you're worth or how valuable you are? And you're valuable just by being. You're priceless as a being. What energy, space, and consciousness can you and your bodies be to be as priceless and unmatched and inconceivable as you truly be? Everything that doesn't allow that, we just drain and create it. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. What $500 an hour gives me that $350 an hour doesn't give me is more fun for my body. I get to fly in different, maybe, maybe, maybe $500 an hour would create me flying in first class. If not, we're charging more, right? Um, what, what it creates for me in my life is more ease. And also, it's, it's also looking at what would people have to pay me to receive what it is I'm being. If access classes were $50 for a home of infinite possibilities class, would you be able to receive anything he's saying? You know, there's a, there's a quote unquote, re one, it's fun for him to charge that. Two, like for $2,500 an hour, Gary and a private session is not going to get just anybody. The people that choose a private session with Gary are going in with questions for fuck's sakes. You know, like $1,500 for a half an hour and I don't think you're going to be sitting there telling him your story. So what would you like to charge that would be fun for you? What kind of people would you like to play with? What would you like to invite the world to? What would you like to have as your life? Everywhere you guys have made this about anything besides those questions and all the others I can't think of right now. We just join and create all that. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pod, online, shorts, boys, and beyond. First of all, what was that question with, with the, the money thing? How much money do you have to uh, ask for the people to willing to receive? Something like that. Yeah, so this is from the Advanced Money Workbook is what would you have to charge for people to be able to receive who you be, what you be? And what's fun for you in those 10 seconds? So it's never just one question to rule them all. It's always a bunch of questions. It's like, yeah, that's fun for me to charge right now. Smaller amounts for telecalls. I get to meet more of you. I get to play with more of you. You know, that right now is creating. At some point that will change, right? Like at some point my calls will be $25,000. That's probably not, that's not very fun. But you know what I mean? Like some, I don't expect that to stay the same. You know, it can always change and it can always into whatever it changes into, right? And choice always creates awareness. So I may create a set of calls at this price and I'll get a lot of awareness out of that, right? Um, so there's no one way to do it. It's just like what question applies to where you're at now? Like what would you have to charge for people to be able to receive what you be? What are you willing to claim, own, and acknowledge? So maybe what you have to charge is $800 an hour. Are you willing to be $800 an hour? Maybe not. Maybe you're willing to be 50 right now. What are you willing to claim, own, and be? Yes. I saw someone had a question. Cool. Hey, I'd like to pop in here. Um, yeah, do it, girl. As part of Crystal's team. And... I ask questions about how, um, how will this contribute to my life in so many different ways? Yeah. Because viewing money from just that deposit into your account, it's way bigger than that. Yeah. So being part of Crystal's team, there's a financial contribution that's like, I can see it, like a deposit. And then there's a huge contribution in so many different directions that's exponentializing my life. And, and my money. And my business. 
What, amazing. And I will tell you guys that what's been hardest for me to receive is that the non-monetary contribution outweighs the monetary contribution in people's lives. And because I've had a lot of people say that to me and I'm like, really? <laughs> I mean, don't misunderstand. I love I get cash it. money. I get and it. Cash money comes to me by contributing to your business. I get it. I get it. And, it's, and it's the same for me when I contribute to access. Like, I mean, I don't get paid what I'm worth when I contribute to access, you know, access only pays a certain dollar amount for the contra work that we do. And it's to pay for classes I'm going to. So it's not like I see a lot of cash from what I do for access, but being a part of the team, being a part of the creation of it, being a part of something that's creating greater on the planet contributes to me far beyond what it is. They actually agree to pay me monetarily. So, um, it, it's, you never get paid what you're worth in excess. You get paid what you agree to and what's fun for you. And it never matches what you think would you would be worth, right? Like I can make $350 an hour over here and I'm getting $20 an hour here and I'm not seeing any of it because I'm going to that class. Um, doesn't, it's not um, A plus B equals C. It's A plus two equals oranges. And I really like oranges. And oranges make my life greater, right? So it's all of that. And, you know, for me, everything that I do, I'm asking how I can be a greater contribution to consciousness in the world. So things show up in my world for me to contribute to or be part of that creates that, which in a bigger picture is more than that monetary. Cool. And money follows, like money follows, it, you know, like what everything that we're creating and on my team right now, like it, it's not quite here yet, but it is here already. It's like everything we're choosing and everything we're creating is going to be this. It just is already in existence. It just hasn't always shown up yet. And I, I have to remind myself about that all the time because there's this place where we disallow or disacknowledge, don't acknowledge what we're creating that just hasn't shown up in physical form yet. Right. And I can do that quicker than anybody. I can be like, but where is it? And it's not like there's no money. I'm not seeing that, but it's like what I know right. we're creating, the energy that we're creating hasn't fully actualized yet. Right. And it's there and we feel it. And it's there. And it's yeah. Freaking. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We can all, we're all like, yeah, this is a money train. I know it's not here yet. None of us care. You know, like, <laughs> um, <laughs> And why do I say that? Because it's not to like go, oh, well, this is my business. And uh, what, I don't know what yours is doing, but ours is great. It's to be like, what are you creating that you're not acknowledging? And how can you just add to that and make that greater? And like, what are you not, what are you not acknowledging that you're creating with everything that you're choosing? The more you acknowledge what you're creating, even if it hasn't shown up physically yet, the more, the greater it gets, the faster. So Everywhere you're not acknowledging all of the contributions that you are already being to your business, that you are already being to consciousness, that you're already being to the planet, we you destroy and create all that. Right, run, goodbye, pop, pop, online shorts, boys and beyonds. Hey, and money loves a party. I know. Right? right? <laughs> hey, we do party. We do. That's, that's how we roll. If it's not a party, we don't do it. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, how are you asking for money? Like, what if you can ask for money and it was a party? Like, what if you could just invite people to the party of money? Like, if money is just an energy, if it doesn't, if it isn't significant, like, what party can you create that would be people would be like, I'm gonna be in that party, like over there. You see that party over there? I'm going to that. I don't care what it costs. Here's my wallet. You can have it. I want to be there, right? Like, what party are you capable of creating that you just haven't created yet? I just uh, wanted to add something to yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I've made creating my business and not creating my business so significant that, I mean, that so many contributions was playing in your business and being a contribution to all of that, but it shifted so much for me because it's like I had made everything so significant right. in my business and what I was creating and it's fun and it's a party to play in your business. So it's like, and to me creating more in my business. Cool. So yeah, it's really fun, expansive and all that stuff. Yeah, cool. And it was the same for me when I chose to play with Access, you know, the few times. And I've played with Access now in a number of different ways. I've played as a host. If I'm playing on promotional teams. and I've played on the back end. And all of that has given me more awareness for my own business. You know, even if it didn't contribute uh, hugely financially, it was like, 
it created so many different other things in my life that I, it, that creates me saying yes again and again and again to whatever it is they'd like me to do, you know. And one thing that I did, and this is where I want to address the asking for money, when I got asked to do the video production role for over the 10 days that so we had classes in Vancouver, there was foundation, there was ESB, and there was 10 days that Dane and Gary were going to be in town. And all of these videos that Access is creating for us in the back end that we won't see for a few more months um, to help us create our businesses and to promote COP and all this stuff. There was a lot that needed to be done and nobody, we'd never done this before. Access had never created a 10 day video shoot before. And so they brought me on kind of last minute and I was, I was a yes. And I'm, they were like, it's going to be an on the fly sort of creation. I'm like, perfect. That's the way I roll. It ended up being, and so the deal we created at the beginning of what I was going to receive for doing the job was one thing. Well, the amount of work required over that 10 days was another thing. Like it was extremely intense and it was like from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. like every single day. I like think it was really intense and it was like a seven day because I was like facilitating 30 or 40 people on video, like asking them questions. I would get out of the interviews and I was like fried, beyond fried. And so it was just, it was a lot and I loved it. And when it got to the end of the 10 days, I realized the deal that I had made didn't, didn't, didn't honor me and that nobody had meant to not honor me but that I could ask for more if I'd like to. So I ended up asking Jonas if I could also receive this other class in addition to the other class they'd given me. And I was sweating when I was asking for it. I was like, it was more than I'd ever, because I really didn't have a point of view. I, on the one hand, I didn't have a point of view. I'm like, I'm really grateful to be contributing. On the other hand, I really wanted to go to this class and I had done all this stuff and what would it take for me to go to that class, you know, for free. So I asked for it and it, he gave it with ease but I never would have received it if I hadn't have been willing to ask for it. So what are you not asking for that if you would ask for, you could receive with ease <laughs> and everything that doesn't allow that way to strain and create it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And um, somebody wrote in here, I felt small because I was told recently that I charge more than lawyers, yikes. Interesting point of view, they have that point of view. Interesting point of view, they have that point of view. Interesting point of view, they have that point of view. Where are you going to be willing to value you? What is it going to take for you to value you and what you contribute to the world? What would it take for you to value you beyond anybody else's points of view? Crystal, can I ask? Mm -hmm. Is this maybe part of the fraud control that we're, you know, um, somehow trained to prevent the consciousness from, from getting here? You know, all the lawyers that are just accepted by society and us being us is just not the way it's supposed to be or something like that. Yeah. I mean, fraud patrol. So for those of you that don't know about fraud patrol, it's a I'm new, sorry. no, that's okay. It's, it's, it's a, it's a clearing that's just come out in foundation, which is the class you take after bars. And um, it's this, it's this thing that the energy that Gary be, became aware of that in this reality, we are taught to function from right and wrong and good and bad. And, and we're taught to judge everything. And that's how we're taught to create our lives. And, and what a lot of people will do is they will project their version of right and wrong at you. So Jackie, for example, their version of what, you know, so they said you charge more than lawyers. How much fun can you have with that? And be like, I know, I don't know why they're lawyering when they could be doing this shit. I'm making a bank over here. Why would they choose that? So weird. Like hypnosis pays crazy money. Um, you know, what prevents you from having fun with the people of this reality that think you can't have more? You know, that's just their interesting point of view. So yes. So people will perpetrate or attempt to perpetrate fraud patrol or policing what it is you're choosing. And if you buy into it, that's when you make it real. That's the only time it becomes real is when you buy it. Some, everybody's going to project all kinds of crazy shit at you. And sometimes you're going to have ease with it. And sometimes it's going to stick you. So when it sticks you, you want to pock and pot everywhere you bought it, everywhere you perpetrated it on other people, because you can't judge something you haven't been or done. And then go, interesting point of view, they have this point of view, interesting point of view, they have this point of view. I wonder what it would take to charge more. Um, so... <laughs> I have way too much fun with that. So the fraud patrol clearing, does anybody have it right in front of them? I'm just going to see if I can find it real quick. I have a piece of it. I don't have the whole thing. Um, I'll run this one. So I have it. Okay, cool. Go for it. 
What have you made so vital, valuable, and real about the fraud patrols of finance, reality, money, linearity, relationships, family, spirituality, sex and sexual freedom, ethnicity, law, cultural separation, humanoid embodiment and healing, humanoid humor that keeps you seeking the wrongness of you through them and you and everything they are and everything you are and everything they will not be and everything you will not be. And everything that is. Times a gazillion. We are destroyed and created. Mm -hmm. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pod, online, shorts, boys and beyonds. So that clearing is like one to loop. And again, for those of you that don't know what loop is, like when you run these clearings, say that thing, destroy it and create it, run the clearing statement. When you loop that, like every, I've been looping that every night for a while. What's going to change is your automatic response to going to the wrongness of you. Somebody has a point of view that you charge too much, you buy it, and you go to the wrongness of you. For what reason do we choose that? For what reason does somebody else having a point of view about what we do mean that we're wrong? Everywhere we've trapped ourselves into causal reality with that, A plus B must equal C. We destroy it and create all that. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, all nature, it's boys and beyonds. So, yeah, cool. I can't believe it's 12 o'clock or, or it's like we, we did an hour. Or, this is why we're doing six classes after this. So if you guys like this, if you want more of this, we're going to do six. We're going to do a six week thing for 150 bucks. And what we're going to do is it's going to be three group calls and then there's going to be add ons. So that are going to cost a little bit. I don't know, maybe 30 bucks here and there. But if you want to learn practical skills, so if you're desiring to build an online business and you don't have the practical skills of Zoom or telecalls or hangouts or graphics, and, um, any, anything practical, we're going to just find out what it is you guys want to learn for practical skills because there is, that's part of it, right? Of, of actually actualizing what it is you'd like to have. We need some skills. So we're going to find out what you guys want to learn. Um, we're gonna, there's going to be a lot of these calls where we're looking at the energetics of creating a business, of being business, of being that space of, that you'd like to be to create what you'd like to have. And whatever else comes up, there might be a one-on-one -on -one component and there might be a small group component we're going to see. So it's going to start at 150 bucks and uh, for six weeks and then it'll be little add-ons. And if you want more of that, come play. We start next Monday and um, I'd love to have you. And I just love you. And even if you don't come play, I hope to see you again somewhere in the world or somewhere online. And thank you. Thank you for this. Thank you for being so incredibly grateful. Thank you. 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 Thank you.